Hi everyone and welcome to another video from DisplayRepair.com. In this video we'll be talking about are car diagnostics accurate? Lots of people are having uh, problems, they repair things that the car diagnostic tells them and they end up uh, again with having the same or having even more problems. So stay tuned. DisplayRepair.com So, how does the diagnostic system work? Well, in a nutshell, as you probably know, all modern cars have their computer, okay? Also known as the ECU. This is the brain of the car, so to say. Another vital part of the system are sensors. They're located on all vital parts of the car, like the fuel injection, like the air intake, like the exhaust, like the brakes, and so on. All of these sensors send vital information back to the ECU and it processes it making the car function normally. If there is a problem the ECU notices it and it sends a warning light onto the dashboard. Once it does you take the OBD tool and you connect it to the OBD port you find out what the error code means, find the problem and solve it. We made a separate video on how to use an OBD scanner. I'll leave a link so you can take a look if you're interested. So as you concluded, a very good and thought out process of how to find out what's wrong with your car. It's essentially a plug and play system. And as long as you have an OBD reader, you can find the fault in a matter of minutes and act accordingly to the error code you get. So what's the problem? Well, at least in my opinion, the main problem is uh, with the uh, nature of the whole system, so to say. You see electronic uh, components like a stable environment. The electronic components on the car are subdued to a very harsh environment. There's excessive heat, there's cold, there's moist, there's filth, there's all other kinds of things that uh, electronic components really don't like. All car and parts manufacturers have done a great job to make all of these things work on a car and to protect them from that environment. But over time material fatigue kicks in and because of this, it, especially regarding the sensors, it can give false readings. When it does, the uh, false reading goes to the ECU. The ECU gives a warning message. You hook up the OBD tool, uh, get the warning message, and you fix it according to the error code. But what uh, happens is that when you fix all of that, the problem isn't gone. Lots of times you get the same problem again. I will mention two examples from my own experience that will perhaps clarify what I'm talking about. The first example is on this Skoda Fabia. We've made a separate video about that. I got a check engine light, I hooked up an OBD tool and I got an error code for a bad O2 sensor. In fact, the problem was a bent gasket on the air uh, filter housing. So if I went and bought the O2 sensor, which is about 70 euros, at least in my country, I would replace it and I would essentially lose 70 euros because the O2 sensor was okay, not to mention the labor. The other good example was on a Renault Megane. It had a message error on the dashboard that said electronic fault. All kinds of repairs were made before that. Even the fuse box was changed, which was a pretty hefty sum of money and it didn't help. It ended up as a problem with a fuse on the battery pole. You know, the main fuses that are located in a plastic box on the battery pole. The fuse was burnt out so much that it almost wasn't visible uh, by the eye. It was sort of broken. Because of that, when the car would hit a bump or the fuse would heat up a bit, it will lose contact and the message would appear. So what's common in both of these situations, hooking up the OBD tool did not help. It did not solve the problem. What did solve the problem is a bit of logic and a bit of thinking through the uh, whole process and finding out what the problem is. And now I come to the main point of this video. Are car diagnostics accurate? I would say yes, most of the time they are. 
but do not blindly rely on them. Uh, when you have a problem, don't go head over heels and buying parts and changing them immediately. Take a look. If it's obvious, okay, if you have a broken or damaged part, go and replace it and that should solve the problem. But if you see that everything seems okay, like with the uh, check engine problem, for instance, you know, stop, think a bit, think it through and see that there may be uh, some other obvious and perhaps a more less expensive thing to replace, change or buy. So that's it for this time. I hope this video helps. I hope I didn't bore you too much with the storytelling. The proper uh, diagnostics of the problem is immensely important for the car repair. If you don't do it properly, you'll go down a rabbit hole, spend a ton of money, time and nerves on something that probably didn't have to be touched in the first place. Again, the OBD system is great. It's great technological uh, advancement. You can rely on it, but don't rely on it 100%. Always uh, have a shadow of a doubt and use a bit of logics and use your own mind. Please like and subscribe. It's a huge help for what we're doing. Also, if you find the time, visit us at our website, despairrepair.com, where you can find more useful car and driving tips. Thanks for your time and thanks for watching.